Is she coming? Let's see. Let's go ahead and get her. There we go. Now she should be coming. Come on. There she comes. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> That's so adorable. <laughs>What's up guys, it's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Scorched Earth, and oh snap, it's gonna be an awesome freaking day, but first, if you guys enjoy what you're about to see, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe for more daily videos, and if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter, link is down there in the description, so guys, I got a little nub. <laughs> I have a little nub on the back of my head, and it looks kind of funny. So the hair is coming in quite nicely, and it looks all sorts of good-like, and you know, that's all good stuff. And, uh, and yes, yeah, so, last episode, guys. Last episode, we started construction on our brand new home over in the beautiful oasis of Green Obelisk. That is right, guys. But we didn't start off trying to build a house. We started off trying to build a fishing village, but our plan was then quickly thwarted uh, because nothing can be built, apparently, at Green Obelisk, so kind of unfortunate, but hey, we're gonna build there anyways, and we're gonna build around it, and we're just gonna have a ton of fun. So, also, I, al I had also asked for some names uh, for the two Thylacolios that we got in the previous episodes, and guys, here they are. So, for the white one, we have a returning name from the Center Season 2, I believe is what it was. The Center Season 2, yeah, Leao, and this was the name of our white uh, Thylacolio. He was actually, was it the all-white one? I, I'm trying to remember. I think it was the all-white one. It was called Leao. And uh, the suggestion comes from H.A. Lagspike, so thank you so freaking much. And then, for the one that is similar similar color to Mufasa, I decided to call it Simba on the suggestion from Sean Productions 88 So thank you guys oh so freaking much. I love it. And our two new Thylacolios have awesome names. And we're going to start breeding them here soon. I think we're going to have to start breeding them because, well, I want to get their stats over. And I want to get some good, good babies, you know? Like, I want to get some good, good babies. He's going to be pretty cool, but without further ado, guys, let's go ahead and jump on the back of Diablo, and we're going to go ahead and take a, uh, we're going to take, what is his name, Pokem, we're going to take Pokem, our thorny dragon, all the way over to Green Ob, and, uh, well, maybe we'll take him, uh, it might be a long freaking trip now, <laughs> oh god, how much weight does this guy have, 875, I think Pokem's got like 700 plus weight on him, crap, Okay, well, maybe we're going to take Pokem. Maybe I should just walk there. Hmm, should I just walk there? I feel like I should just walk there. <laughs> it might be faster than just flying. You know what? Yeah, we're going to walk there. Maybe we'll take an escort of, like, vultures and stuff to keep us uh, to keep us protected. But I'm not taking Diablo. Hell no, I'm not taking Diablo. So we're going to continue construction on the house over at Green Ob, guys, because I really want to get the actual structure of the house done. Now, what, I, what do I mean by the actual structure? I mean, I want the foundations and the walls up at least, you know? I want to be able to have that stuff because in the event of me wanting to do some more off-camera work and some stuff offline, um, I can do that and not have to worry about it. But yeah, so I really want to get at least some of the structure up and going. Let's see. Actually, you know what? We'll take one vulture. We'll take the highest level vulture. Let's see. Where's it at? 217, I believe, is the highest level vulture, and it's this one right here. Look at the stats on this sucker. 4,600 health and 611 melee damage, guys. That's crazy. So freaking cool. So we're going to head back over <clears throat> on the back of, uh, what's his name, Pokem, and we'll, we're going to go ahead and continue construction on the home. Now, I'm expecting we'll have the actual structure done today. In fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to have the actual structure done today. But who knows? Maybe not. Maybe we will. Who knows what's going to happen? All I know is it's going to be a long freaking walk over to Green Obelisk. Uh, <laughs> over to Green Obelisk. So, I think what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go ahead and just uh, ride on the back of Pokem. And uh, I'll meet you guys over at Green Ob. All right, you guys. So I figured I'd go ahead and bring you guys back in for a little bit of a situational update. Unfortunately, it's almost nighttime, so we got to be quick about this. But as you can see, I've got kind of the secondary building up. I'm just working on getting the roof on it right now. But uh, for those of you that have seen my Montage Monday build with the uh, the Tuscan Villa, um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to recreate it like a one-to-one -one ratio. It's going to be a little bit awkward. It's going to be a little weird because if you'll remember... 
in that build, it was much, much bigger than this, and it was much wider than this. So, uh, and unfortunately, I, I chose the area that isn't necessarily the most flat, so I've been having to build on pillars and all that good stuff, but you know, I'm determined to build it, so whatever. <laughs> but anyways, let me show you exactly what we got working with and what we're doing. So, uh, I don't have that. Let's see, I've only got 13 sloped roofs. I'll have to run back to the base and grab some more clay. Uh, I, re I, I remembered that I needed Diablo in the first place, which is why I was going to fly him over in the first place. But uh, all I did was I just killed myself, respawned back at the base, and then just flew, uh, flew Diablo back. But oh well. So, as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and put this, this tiled roof on top of this secondary building. And it looks really, really good, guys. Like, I, I love the way this roof looks on top of this building. Because look at this. It's long, but it looks really, really nice. And it flows perfectly with the uh, with that building there as well. So, it, it, it fits pretty dang well. And uh, I don't know what this room will be. Maybe it'll be like a, a forge room. Because truthfully, I don't want to make an industrial forge. They're such an eyesore. They're just so big. Like, I don't understand why they had to be so damn big, you know? But whether or not I make an industrial forge or not, I, I don't think I will. I, in fact, I don't really want to. So maybe this whole entire room inside of here can just be forges that we could fill up full of metal every single time and just get ass loads of metal. But that would take a lot, a lot of spark powder to uh, to keep uh, to keep going. But check it out. On the inside, let's see, we'll go ahead and come down here. On the inside, as you can see, the inside is widened up a little bit. It's opened up a little bit into this uh, secondary room. But look at how much room you've got inside of here. And what's neat is the amount of room that's inside of here. I mean, I think what I could do is I could actually do this. Yeah, so I can actually punch a hole through the middle of this, uh, where these walls are at, and I can make it kind of like a quote-unquote vaulted ceiling, and I could put some lights up there if I wanted to, like some torches, some wall torches and stuff like that, or I could be cheeky, and I could hide some cords up there if I needed to, but uh, whether or not I'll do that, I'm not sure, but I just kind of wanted to bring guys back in and show you a little bit of what I was planning. Um... I don't know what I'm going to do on this side because what I was trying to do was I was going to try and do a similar build, uh, like the similar idea with the Tuscan Villa from Montage Monday, where both sides have that exact same structure. But unfortunately, I think we're going to run into a problem with this area over here. Now, I still might be able to do it because that's only four wide, but who knows? Let's see. Let's just go and check out what's going on with, like, this area over here. Because, unfortunately, even if there weren't rocks right here, the problem is not only this gigantic rock, but, um, once this gets cleared, is this, this hill. I don't know if I can go four wide on this hill. In fact, let's try it. I, I think I've got some spare resources. Let's see. Uh, can I make any more stone ceilings? I can make two stone ceilings. Okay, do I have any more pillars on me? Let me check. Uh, I might have some more pillars on Pokem. But yeah, so I'm just worried that I'm not going to be able to go out four on that side and then continue along as I did on this side. But let's just see. Let's just test it. I didn't test it because I have uh, out of fear for that exact reason. Let's see. Oh, I had some more ceilings right there. Uh, doesn't look like I have any more pillars. That's kind of unfortunate. Okay. Well, maybe. Well, let's actually see how far I can go out with two ceilings, and then we'll just measure it from there. So, let's see. I started right, uh, let's see. Let's not use the adobe ceilings. Let's use the less expensive ones. All right, we'll go ahead and put that right there. And right there. Okay, so that's two. Yep, I can't even go out three. So three is going to go inside of that, inside of the hill, and it can't even happen. So unfortunately, I might have to improvise, and I might have to swap up the design a little bit. Maybe come out this way, and then go out this way and make this side's room a little bit longer, or maybe a little bit shorter than that side. I don't know, guys, but it's going to have to take a little bit of improv, a little bit of, uh, a little bit of work to get this thing going. But I didn't notice this. Look at this. Right here in the courtyard, like the front of the house... 100% wind, guys. How cool is that? I think that's pretty nifty. You don't even have to be, like, in the actual dunes. I suppose this sand material right here is, like, the the, the separator between 100% wind and, let's see, what what's it? 40% wind right here. Like, look at that. Literally within, like, two feet. Let's see, that's 40. That's 40. That's 100. Literally, 40, 100. 40, 100. That's crazy. 
Oh my gosh, I love that though. So anyways, uh, I'm going to continue to do some construction and stuff like that on this, and uh, it's coming along quite nicely, guys. Uh, the house is looking great. Um, I've thought about building a mortar and pestle over here, but I mean, it's not proven to be a problem flying back and forth to get resources, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so we should be able to get the rest of the house done, uh, and then maybe we can do something fun after that. Well, more, I should say, other than building, because truthfully, I love me some building. So guys, I'll see you soon. Alright you guys, so I finally figured out exactly what I was going to do with this side of the house and it turns out that I could do exactly what I wanted just on a smaller scale. So let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. So uh, on this side it's four wide and on this side it's two wide. Now. I was able to build out of foundations on this side, which I was kind of really happy about because I didn't have to do the whole frickin' pillar stuff that I did over here, but I was actually able to build some stone walls and cover up some of the holes, not all of the holes because apparently some of these areas are awkward, I don't know what's going on with that spot, but uh, there's a couple more spots over here, but you know, I'm not that big of a stickler for stuff like that just because I can't really help that, as far as my knowledge goes, <laughs> I can't really help that, but this looks pretty freaking cool. So, it's kind of like a smaller version, kind of like a small compacted version of the house that I built for Montage Monday, but I can actually pretty much dig this, guys. It looks really freaking cool. So, let me show you all the changes that I made. I actually put in a courtyard this time. Uh, so, I love doing this with builds like this because it gives it kind of like that, 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 um, what is it? That symmetry feel. Granted, both of these longer buildings are not the same size. That one's four wide, this one's two wide, but I have an idea for what I can use both rooms for. Now, let me show you exactly what I did. So inside of here, this is probably going to be maybe a storage room. It's going to be lined with maybe some vaults because of how tiny they are now. Uh, maybe some vaults, maybe some large storage boxes and all that good stuff. Then, look at what I did to the roof inside of here, guys. Check that out. Isn't that just so cool? I love the way that looks. So I was able to take out the all the ceilings and then take out the walls that I had to build uh, to actually build this, this entire roof. Um, granted, I, it felt a little bit uh, uh, bad destroying all that stuff that I just built. But hey, it looks even cooler than it did before. So I'm, I'm happy with doing it. And then up top on the two wide building, I had to improvise a little bit because... The sloped roofs right here would have come all the way through here and covered up these railings and this pillar, so I had to improvise a little bit and make that into a wall. And you know, it looks it looks wonky, but hey, it fits. It fits with the whole aesthetic of the building, and truthfully, unless you're on the side of the oasis, you can't really even see it. I mean, look at this. You can't really even see it there either, unless you're really, really looking. And I mean, pointing it out is not really a good thing to do, because now I'm looking at it too. But, <laughs> but hey, I think it looks pretty freaking cool, and I'm, I'm excited to live here. Are you kidding me? I'm excited to live here. So now, all we need to do is figure out where exactly we're going to put down the, uh, the windmills and stuff like that, and that way we can generate power, because, I mean, dude, unlimited power out here during a storm? That's, that's amazing. That is amazing. I'm, I'm pretty sure you can run the windmills during the storms, and that's super freaking cool. And, uh, and yeah, that's gonna help a lot. Now, as far as other storage places go, like the, the stable and a greenhouse, that's gonna take a second to, uh, to figure out, because, uh, well, I don't exactly know where it's gonna go. Uh, we might have to do extensions off of some of these buildings and make it all kinda, kinda cool looking like that. But I want to stick with like this Tuscan, this Tuscan feel, you know, with uh, the 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 tiled roofs and the the adobe walls and the the stone pillars and the stone foundations and stuff like that. I want to keep with that that theme, and so we're gonna have to find a way to maybe make the greenhouse with this kind of material or with these kind of materials and stuff like that. Um, but I think I have an idea of how I could do that, and it's gonna look pretty dang cool. But we're counting our chickens before they've hatched, guys. Again, I tend to do that a lot. Um, but, I tell you what guys, we're gonna go ahead and go on back to base, I'm gonna load up, um, I might actually keep Pokem here, just, just because we're not done building and stuff like that, yeah, I'll just go ahead and keep Pokem here, I'll throw all my extra stuff on him, and, uh, we'll just keep him here, but, what I think we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and go on back to base, and we're gonna breed up the Thylacos, yeah, I kinda wanna see what baby Thylacos look like, because truthfully, I haven't bred baby Thylacos yet, and I really wanna see what they look like, so, let's go on back, and let's have some, uh, some baby Thylacos. Oh, oh, 
Oh my god, there it is! Look at the size of its head! Oh my god, look at him! No, let me off, let me off, let me off. No, 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 no. Where's he at? Where's he at? Oh my god, it's a baby! Look at him! <laughs> oh my god, it's adorable! Holy crap, it's adorable! Look at his face! Oh, it's a girl! Okay, disable wandering. Let's see, change follow distance to lowest. There we go. Come here, sweetheart. Come here. Oh, she's still. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, she's rubber banding. Come on, get out of here, mom. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, wait, let's see. Uh, Stop following me. Simba, you need to come over here so that you can let your child come out. There we go. All right, now you follow me, sweetheart, okay? Nope, there's no hole over there, of course. Okay, come on. I need to get out of here. Please let me... There we go. Perfect. Come on, sweetheart. <gasps> there she is. Look at how adorable she is. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my freaking God. Are you serious, dude? Look at that face. Look at the size of those ears. <laughs> oh, my God. It's adorable. Look at this. Look at her face. <laughs> She's like... What the hell are you looking at, boy? <laughs> you look pretty man. You look mighty tasty, boy. Oh my god, that is absolutely adorable. Look at those little teeth. Oh my god, look at how cute it is. So we're gonna go ahead and get another one just for shits and giggles, because I, I just want to have a bunch, you know? <laughs> I think this is awesome. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, guys. So let's see, we got 2940 health. Uh, I believe it got uh, mom stats. Uh, 1960 stam. Let's see, 660 ox, 820, 82, 28.3 food, 748 weight, 291.4 melee damage, and 145% movement speed. Wow, that is pretty dang good. Let's see, what's Simba's stats? Yeah, so Simba has the, the health of this baby, or this baby has the health of Simba. But let's see, another baby's about to pop out. I love how it goes immediately to the gestation period. I, I think that's kind of cool. All right, let's see. Come on, spit it out. Here it comes! Here it comes! Oh, there it is! Look at it! Oh my god! Oh wait, was it twins? No, it, okay, no, it wasn't twins. Good stuff. I thought it was twins. I was like, <gasps> oh my god. Okay, so let's see. This one's got better health. Let's see. Is this a male or a female? This is a male. Okay, so that's good. So let's see. This one is. This one has better health. So let's go ahead and bring it over here by the sister. Come on. Come and meet your sister. Oh, that's so adorable. Look at how adorable they are. Oh my god. They are so freaking cute. Oh, they are so adorable. Look at them. Look at them. So we got one white and gray one, and we got one with the uh, the orange and black. That looks so cool. <laughs> but it's a major level difference. Look at that. 183 and a 159. Like, damn. That is a humongous difference. Were there any mutations? No mutations on that one. What about this one? Because that seems really odd. No mutations on that one. No. Okay, so interesting. Let's go ahead and have them stop breeding. We don't need more than three. Let's see. Disable wandering and disable wandering. Because we don't want any of these guys to die. In fact, I need to get some more meat out of the trough. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab some more meat. Oh my god. I can't get over how cute those things are. They are adorable. I think those might be cuter than, like, Giga Babies and T-Rex Babies by a long shot. They are adorable. You know what babies I haven't seen? Jerboas. Can you imagine how adorable those things would be? Oh my god. They would just, they would look so stupid. I can pretty much guarantee it. <laughs> oh my god. All right, let's see how far along. All right, so she's got 63% of the way through. All right, this one is a juvenile, so let's go ahead and get it on the trough. Come here, sweetheart. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on. Is she coming? Let's see. Let's go ahead and get her. There we go. Now she should be coming. Come on. There she comes. Look at that face. Oh. <laughs> That's so adorable. Oh, my God. Look at that. She looks so evil. She's, like, ready to pounce, too. She's like, come at me, bro. <laughs> That's so adorable. All right. Let's see. Another one should be coming out anytime soon. Good stuff. Almost there, guys. And we're going to have three brand new babies. Oh, my God. They are freaking adorable. I wonder what level this one's going to be. My bet is somewhere in the middle of 183 and 159. Let's find out, shall we? Come on. Pop it out, Simba. You got this shit. You got this. 
Come on, sweetheart. And there we go. 166. What did I tell you? <laughs> right in between. All right, let's see. What do we got? Uh, so that one had mom's health. It's probably a mix of mom and dad's stats because I feel like some of them got like different different extremes of the parent's stats, you know? So we'll just I'll just have to compare the stats and stuff like that. But what gender is this one? This is a female. Awesome, another female. So it looks like the two females are the two white ones and then this one is the male, uh, which is interesting. That's pretty cool. It got the mom's color. Um... And that's really kind of nifty. So, guys, this is so cool. Three new members of the family, and they are powerful members of the family, mind you. Like, holy hell, guys. These things are going to be amazing once they're full grown. And once we have these things leveled, are you kidding me? Oh, I'm, I'm whistling stop. Whoops. <laughs> and there we go. Perfect. All right, so we'll go ahead and bring these guys over here. And let's get a family photo. Come on. Come on. Don't be bashful. <laughs> oh, look at them. Just look at them. Look at how cute they are. Oh, I love them. I think I just found my new favorite baby dino. <laughs> That's so freaking adorable. Look at them. Oh my god, look at them. Oh, they're so cute, guys. So, three new babies, three new names, guys. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, make sure you smash that like button. And subscribe for more daily videos. And if you haven't done already, follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.